Yes, a little bit of an angle change in the good old garage here, tidying things up. Still not finished yet since Dave is allergic to manual labor. Uh, still have to sort out the lights, but hopefully it'll be an improvement overall. Welcome back to Long Way Home everyone. The place where getting your motorcycle news is easier than getting Husqvarna to launch the Norden 901 before the Zwartpilen 125, but not by much. Royal Enfield has just updated one of its best-selling motorcycles, the Himalayan for 2021. And while the changes are definitely iterative instead of a full-on overall, they do bring a lot of quality of life improvements. Stick around while we see what the 2021 Royal Enfield Himalayan is all about. The original Royal Enfield Himalayan was launched back in 2015 and has proven so far to be an amazing success for the company. It literally put them onto the international motorcycling scene and allowed them to branch out into other projects like their two-cylinder lineup. The Himalayan is definitely not about peak performance or power numbers or huge amount of electronics stapled onto it. It's a lot more humble in its own way. A simple, small, light, go-anywhere adventure bike where paved roads or roads, for that matter, are entirely optional. Simple in design, no fluff, easy to fix on the side of the road if anything goes wrong, the Himalayan has won the hearts and souls of adventure riders from all over the world. For 2021, Royal Enfield has concentrated on improving their winning formula instead of a complete redesign. The engine is still the same, air-cooled 411cc single cylinder, which manages a peak power of 24 horsepower and 32 newton meters of torque. I know a lot of riders would have hoped for a bit more power here, maybe a sixth gear, 24 horsepower is not really a lot out of 400 cc's, maybe next year, but for 2021, Royal Enfield worked on getting this engine Euro 5 certified. The frame and suspension remain unchanged as well, but the 200mm of travel the front forks provide, coupled together with the 220mm ground clearance and the under 200kg wet weight, means that you can take the Himalayan around the world without really worrying about the state of the roads you're traveling on. The first visual change between the outgoing model and the new one are the luggage racks on either side of the tank. They are now more tapered towards the front which should provide more space for taller riders. The windshield is now also taller and has been reshaped for better airflow because no matter how adventurous your travels are, you will inevitably hit those stretches where you need to do a lot of kilometers on paved roads and good wind protection just makes everything more comfortable. The seat has also been redesigned a little to provide more comfort for longer rides and the integrated luggage rack on the back is now shorter, so throwing a leg over the bike is easier. As far as technology is concerned, on the Himalayan ABS is basically all you're getting. The good news for 2021 is that the rear ABS can now be disengaged so you can pull off those sweet, sweet wheel slides in the deserts of Mongolia. Royal Enfield has also added their new tripper navigation which was first introduced on the Meteor 350 last year. Hardware wise, there is now a little round screen next to the dash which connects to a Royal Himalayan app on your phone but instead of them coming up with their own nav app which would have obviously been much worse than already existing apps that have been improved over the years, Royal Enfield is using the backbone of Google Maps, which in my opinion is the best way to go about it. Don't try and reinvent the wheel, use something that is already out there and already works great. This means you're getting all of Google's routing algorithms, places, restaurants, traffic conditions and what not. Brilliant implementation and if you don't need to use the nav feature, the little screen will just show you the time elegantly. Color wise, there are three color options for 2021. A beautiful, stylish granite black, a mirage silver, which seems to have replaced the pure white option and a type of army camo, pine green they call it, which I think will be a favorite to a lot of riders. Small little quality of life improvements for the 2021 Himalayan. 
a few tweaks here, a few tweaks there and you have the best Himalayan Royal Enfield has ever produced. As always, I'm very interested to find out what you guys think, so uh, drop down to the comment section below and share with the rest of us your take on the new Himalayan and on small inexpensive adventure bikes in general. Well, that's the show for today everyone. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming one of our Patreons to help us make more of these shows. Cheers and I'll see you on the next one.